Hello dear learners, my name is Muna Jones. Today we are discussing Respiratory Distress Syndrome, RDS. Respiratory Distress Syndrome previously called hyaline membrane disease is a syndrome in premature infants caused by developmental insufficiency of lung surfactant production and structural immaturity in the lungs. It can cause affected babies to need extra oxygen to help them breathing. Respiratory distress syndrome is a common breathing or respiratory condition that affects newborn's lungs alveoli, basically caused by pulmonary surfactant deficiency in the lungs of the neonate, most commonly in those born at less than 37 weeks of gestation, characterized by grunting sounds with breathing, chest retractions, dyspnea, and cyanosis. Pulmonary surfactant is a mixture of phospholipids and lipoproteins secreted by type 2 pneumocytes. Before birth, the fetal lungs alveoli are filled with fluid since it doesn't breathe inside the uterus. At birth, lung surfactant diminishes the surface tension of water film that lines the alveoli to collapse and the work required to inflate them. Lung surfactant begins to be made in the fetus at about 24 to 28 weeks of pregnancy and by about 35 weeks gestation, most babies have developed an adequate amount of surfactant. It is released into the lungs to help open and inflate the alveoli during respiration with a low amount of force. Respiratory distress syndrome results from a deficiency in pulmonary surfactant activity due to lung immaturity. If, for example, birth occurs before 35 weeks of gestation, the premature infant may not be able to cope for a long time as a result of immature lungs. At first, the infant may breathe with minimal difficulties, initially, but as the surfactant present progressively reduces, the respiration becomes labored because the alveoli cannot be opened and inflated adequately. With surfactant deficiency, a greater pressure-slash-force is needed to open the alveoli, and without adequate airway pressure, the lungs become diffusely atelectatic, triggering inflammation and pulmonary edema. This will cause impairment in gaseous exchange resulting in low levels of oxygen in blood and accumulation of carbon dioxide resulting in blood acid levels and severe hypoxia. Increased acidosis in turn leads to capillary damage and necrosis surrounding the alveoli, which again suppresses the production of surfactant with increasing atelectasis. Thanks for watching this video, kindly share and click subscribe button for more educative content.